In this lesson, we will discuss an advanced grammar structure with causative verbs. The causative verbs have and get. When do we use causative verbs? That's an excellent question. We can use causative verbs when we want to convey the idea that someone is causing that other person to do some action. So, like I mentioned in this video, we will be using the causative verbs have and get to talk about a very useful grammar structure, a grammar structure that native English speakers use all the time. And that structure is have something done and get something done. And we usually use this structure to talk about paying someone else to do a service for us. It can be a little tricky at first, but I promise with a little practice, you will get the hang of it in no time. So if this is an area or a grammar structure that you have struggled with, as many of my students in the past have, or if it's an area of interest to you, keep watching. So, I'm a very busy woman. My weekly to-do list is always so long. These are a few things that I do every week part of my weekly routine. I clean my house. I edit these video lessons for you all. I pick up my groceries. I wash my car. And I dry clean my clothes. But one day, y'all, I'll have enough money so that I can pay someone else to do all of these chores for me. In English, we have a special grammar structure, an advanced structure. So this is the structure for have something done. So we put the subject plus have plus the object plus the past participle. So now I clean my house. I do it myself, like many people. But when I get rich, when I get paid, I am going to pay someone else to do it for me. So I could say I have my house clean. I, subject, have my house, the object, cleaned, past participle. Right now, I pick up my own groceries. I do my own grocery shopping. But when I make enough money, y'all, I could say I have my groceries picked up. So these days, I edit my own videos. I do it myself. But when I get enough money, I'll pay somebody else to do it for me. So I could say, I have my videos edited. I have my videos edited. Now, I dry clean my clothes. But when I become rich, I could say, I have my clothes dry cleaned. I have my clothes dry cleaned. So again, subject plus have plus object plus past participle. So that part might be simple enough, but here comes the kind of tricky part for some students, although it doesn't have to be tricky if we don't overthink it. What if I wanted to say this action happened at a different time. So sort of changing the tense. How would I go about doing that? It's very simple. All I have to do is change the tense of the verb have. Everything else stays the same. 
I'm going to repeat myself. All I have to do is change the tense of the verb have. Everything else stays the same. Object, the same. Past participle, the same. So I have my car washed. Right now, have is in the present simple. And that's okay because I'm talking about my routine, my weekly routine. So we use the present simple for routines. But what if I want to say that this was a past completed action? Then how would I change this sentence? We would change have to the tense that we use for past completed actions, which is the past simple. I had my car washed. Only the verb have changed. Everything else stayed the same. Okay? What if I wanted to say that this action is happening right now? It's going on right now. How could I change this sentence? I could say, I am having my car washed. I am having my car washed meaning that I am paying someone to wash my car right at this moment. That is the present continuous, right? So we use the present continuous to talk about actions happening right at this moment. And again, only the tense of the verb have changed and nothing else. What if I wanted to say that this service will happen in the future or is going to happen in the future? then how would I change this sentence? I'd just say, I will have my car washed, or I am going to have my car washed, right? The two forms that we use for the future simple. So let's have a little practice now with changing the tense of this structure. So I have this sentence, I have my videos edited. I have my videos edited, meaning I pay someone else to edit my videos. Okay, let's change this sentence into the past continuous and the present perfect and also the future continuous. All right, pause the video and see if you can do this on your own. When you finished, press play. So the past continuous form is I was having my videos edited. All we did was change the present simple form have to the past continuous form was having. And then the present perfect, I've had my videos edited. All right, same thing. Change have to the present perfect. And that's it. That's all that changes. And then for the future continuous, I will be having my videos edited. I will be having my videos edited. If you know your tenses, which at this point I assume you do because this is an advanced grammar structure, then you should have no problem with this, okay? Yeah, another one. Let's do another one, why not? So this sentence, I have my clothes dry cleaned. I have my clothes dry clean. Let's change this sentence into the past simple, the past perfect, and the future simple, okay? Pause the video, see if you can work it out on your own, and then press play when you think you've got it. So past simple. I had my clothes dry cleaned. Had, past simple form of have. I had my clothes dry cleaned, okay? And then the past perfect, right? I had had my clothes dry cleaned. I had had my clothes dry cleaned. And then we have, for the future simple, I will have my clothes dry cleaned. Or the other form that we sometimes use, for the future simple, I am going to have my clothes dry cleaned. So basically, have is treated as if it were a main verb. 
So I guess you're probably wondering, Taylor, we've been on a have for a while. When are we going to get to get? Well, we're going to get to get right now. So we can also convey the same message of have something done, of paying someone to do a service for us in a slightly more informal way. And all we do is change the verb have to get. So instead of have something done, we say get something done. So instead of saying I have my car washed, I can say I get my car washed. Instead of saying I have my clothes dry cleaned, I can say I get my clothes dry cleaned. Instead of saying she has her videos edited, you can say she gets her videos edited. Instead of saying they have their groceries picked up, you can say they get their groceries picked up. And again, to change the tense, to say that this action happened at a different time, all we have to do is change the tense of the verb get. So past simple, I got my house cleaned. Past continuous, I was getting my house cleaned. Future simple, I will get my house cleaned. So let's practice putting this sentence, I get my videos edited into different tenses, okay? So you're going to put it into the past continuous tense, the present perfect, and also the future continuous tense. Okay, so for the past continuous, we have I was getting my videos edited was getting my videos edited. All we did was change the tense of the verb get to the past continuous and everything else stayed the same. And then when we change it to the present perfect, we can say I have got or gotten my videos edited. In the United States, we tend to say gotten and I think in the UK they say got more, but both variants are okay. Both would be considered the past participle. Okay, I have gotten my videos edited. And then we have the future continuous. So I could say, I will be getting my videos edited. I will be getting my videos edited. Again, all we did was change the tense of the verb get and everything else remained the same. So in these types of sentences, it's not necessary to say, who does the service for you? But if you want to, you could say, I had my house cleaned by a cleaning service, or I had my house cleaned by a maid, or I could say, I had my lawn mowed by the neighbor's son, okay? So you can say, who did the service for you? It's, again, it's not necessary, but if you would like to, all you have to do is put by and then the person who did the service. Okay, a summary. So the have something done or the get something done structure is used to talk about services that we pay others to do for us. Have and get are causative verbs. We can use a causative verb to convey the idea that we are causing someone to do something for us. We are causing someone to perform an action for us. The structure of have something done is subject plus have plus object plus past participle. And the structure of get something done is subject plus get plus object plus past participle. To change tenses, all we have to do is change the tense of the verbs have or get. Everything else remains the same. We can use by plus the specific person doing the service in our sentences if we would like, but we don't have to. And that is the end of our video on have something done and get something done. If you found this video useful or if you found this video interesting, make sure to give me a like. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already. If you'd like more grammar lessons, more advanced grammar lessons such as these. And until next time, English learners.